<laughs> you too. Kick Shireen. Let's go ahead and ask ourselves this question. Do followers matter? Well, let me answer that multifaceted. <sighs> you got to first ask yourself, why do you stream on kick? Okay, we're going to talk about kick mainly, but this can be obviously put to any stream sources. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. If you stream on YouTube, if you stream on Twitch, do your followers really matter? Well, what are you doing this for? Is your objective to get followers or, or are you trying to do this, be entertaining and get followers? Or are you only specifically trying to get followers to get validation? That kind of stuff has to come into question. And I want to start off by saying this. I do think that if you have followers and that's what you care about and that's what you post on your Twitter and stuff like that, then I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having a goal and setting out and getting that goal. And But here's the thing. You also got to understand that not in every case that it's going to work out for everybody. And I think that's what also gets pushed. There are going to be some people who are already ahead, right? If you have a big YouTube following, for example, you're probably going to already have followers that way. If you already have uh, a big um, Instagram following, you're probably going to be able to have a head start, start on people who are just now getting into streaming for the first time. If you've streamed for a very long time, but were unsuccessful on another streaming service, and now you moved over here, and you're way more successful over here because um, people who are coming to kick are coming from a different country or they're coming from different places and you're getting followers. You also got to understand that. But here's the thing. I don't think um, I, I do think that followers matter when it comes to being when it comes to money and getting sponsored and getting verified and getting all those things right and getting partnered. If your goal is to make money off a of kick and for kick to be your mainstream source of money or those kind of things, yes. But do followers matter if you already have a full time job? If you already you do like streaming, but this isn't your whole life. Like you want to stream and make money off of here, but you also want to have a full time job doing something else that has nothing to do with um, this life. Yeah, I would agree because, like I've said before, I mentioned other YouTubers who still work a full time job. They still have a job but they do YouTube on the side, but they still make a ton of money because they're still successful. And I always used to like to use not even Emily. She's a nurse, but she has 500,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. She makes gets a ton of views, but her priority is not YouTube. Her priority is nursing and becoming an actress. She just uses the YouTube money to help her push along to where she can do both. But her focus has never been YouTube. She's been in school pretty much the whole time she's been on YouTube. So she's always focused in another area. Myself, for another example, obviously I'm not nearly as big as she is. I love doing YouTube and I love making stream videos. I've been doing it for a long time. I also like working. <laughs> like there's part of me that wants to do other things. Like I used to want to do this uh, full time, but when I did do it for a while, when I was doing this every day for a long time, I thought to myself, well, I think this would be fun. I would definitely be able to do like six hour streams on the weekend when I'm not working. I would think I would thoroughly enjoy that but i also don't mind going to work and doing cybersecurity stuff i don't mind going to work and doing my stuff that i do with children you know i don't mind tutoring and doing math tutoring and doing read reading tutoring and being a one-on-one -on -one for some people i don't mind doing that either like i like doing that as well and getting paid to do that and now as i've actually started to think think through it while i'm doing the cybersecurity, i don't mind pushing into doing some social work you know being a social worker for children because I, if you guys have heard me in my other videos, I'm pretty passionate about that. So at the end of the day, would followers matter to me? Of course they would, because it gives me more exposure. It gives me a chance to talk to more people when I teach lessons. They definitely matter. But is it to the point where I feel like it would give me validation if I was verified? If it would it give me validation if I was verified on YouTube? Would it give me validation if I had a check mark next to my name? I'm gonna have to say no. You know, even when I'm freestyling and I'm playing around, I always mention like being verified because what I'm trying to do is kind of portray what I hear from people like, oh, I want to be verified. How come they're getting all these followers? How come is this? Come on. Come on. Look, man, some people do work harder. Some people are going to do a 72 hour live stream and some people want to do that. And you can't hate them for that grind. You can't hate them for getting success. If you want to, if people are putting in a 72 hour subathon or there's some people who do 
a week long subathon until they hit a certain number let them do that that's what they need that's what they want that's a grind that they should be able to do i've got no problem with that you shouldn't have a problem with that either everybody's going to be successful in their own ways it's just like somebody who's at work who works overtime right or somebody who doesn't work overtime they they go home and still study the material for work okay but you go home and spend time playing video games or you go home and go work out at the gym or you go home and do something like this it's just like some people who go to the gym there's some people who go to work and go to the gym they eat right and they look great they put a lot of time into looking great there's some people who don't do that there's some people who go to work and they go put all their time into painting they can put all their time into artwork and so it's the same concept there's some people who want to put all their time in the kick some people want to put all the time in the uh, twitch some people want to put all the time in the youtube you should allow that and allow those followers to happen for them but at the end of the day if all you're looking for now hear me out if all you're looking for is validation to flaunt over somebody if you get all the followers and you're like man i did all this and i do that and you feel like you have to constantly throw it in people's faces or you feel like you have to constantly get on the internet and validate yourself and say well i got this many kick followers i'm verified i'm verified i'm verified i'm verified i'm partner i'm partner and you feel like you need that even if you need kick.com to retweet something for you then i think it's going too far you don't need no validation if you're a hard worker on kick and you get the followers to prove that you don't need to get any validation from anybody to say that you're a hard worker the numbers will show that themselves and there's nothing wrong with congratulating yourself at all but you know you know who we're talking about there's certain people who would get out here and they constantly throw in your face that they're number one or they have this many or they feel like they're doing better and you know that's just the way it goes that's just the way it goes now if you're a person who gets on here on kick and your main objective isn't to necessarily get followers you just like to get on here and talk with people or there's some people like you see on youtube who do like tv shows they do dating shows they do podcasts and their only objective is to help you they don't care some some of these youtubers and stuff like that don't even have their channels put out there they private them you know or they only give it to certain people there's some people who don't want all that fame and they don't want all that already they don't care if they ever get partnered they don't care about being monetized because remember with monetization and with being uh, partnered you're gonna have to follow a certain criteria of rules and there's some people who don't want to do that some people don't care if they get paid from youtube they don't care if they get the adsense they don't care if they get any money from you subbing if you want to sub cool but at the same time it's like i don't want to be controlled and that's hard to do because even on youtube and i've been on there for a while i can't say whatever i want you know even though I'm not like a big cursor or anything like that, I can't get on there and say whatever I want. There's still somebody who runs that platform. I can't get on kick here and say whatever I want. There's still a thing here, especially if I get partnered, because then that can get taken away. And some people don't like that. And that's why some people have full-time jobs. That's why some people go get a degree. That's why some people go do things to where, look, if this stuff don't work out and they say that I'm not partnered, I'm not about to cry. I'm still going to do what I want to. I'm going to talk about what I want to. I'm not going to go against the stream like to the point where they would kick me off or ban me. But if they don't want to pay me because my opinions are what they are, well, that's cool. I don't want to be controlled by them. i will rather be controlled by my job at work, my skills. And what, the more, the better your skills get, obviously, the more power you can have for yourself. You can start freelancing your skills. You can be like, well, I know this much. I can just have people pay me to even just talk to me. You know what I mean? Because I have a certain amount of skills. And so in that case, I don't think followers matter because you don't care how many you get. And I want to say this, and I think this is a concept that is really, really bad. Um, that gets really misunderstood. Followers don't equal engagement and support. All right, give me one second, guys. Anyway, it shouldn't be to the point where, like I said, you can go get out there and get some skills and stuff like that. And I'd be like, listen, I don't I don't have to listen to what you guys have to say. I'll do what I need to do. Um, and then, like I said, in that case, I don't think followers were matter to you. You make that choice. You make that choice. If you want kick.com to be your boss and you want them to pay you and you follow about their rules and their set of rules and you're OK with those rules, because for the most part, as far as I know, the rules aren't strict. Go ahead go i mean push i'm i'm serious about this. P 
push as hard as you can get as many followers as you can if that's your objective get as many followers as you can be the number one kick streamer be the number one female kick streamer be the number one gamer be the number one um just chatter a category be number one in the workout category be number one not in hot tubs and i don't know don't be number one in hot tubs y'all know how i feel but <laughs> push for the moon man please go for it don't ever let somebody make you feel bad because you're grinding hard to get followers okay don't ever do that but also also if you're on the opposite side and you don't care about followers or anything don't don't get into people who do like followers don't think that you're high and mighty because you're doing this out of passion you're just doing this because you want to do it some people they it's a job to them kick is kick kick.com is only going to be a job to some people that's it they clock in they clock out that's what they do that's how it is for some people same thing you can see between some youtubers some youtubers treat youtube like a business clock in clock out i'm here for one objective to get as many followers and as much money as i possibly can and then there's other people who are going to come into youtube they don't care they make they make videos that don't have any kind of script they walk in and they're just like hey guys hope your day's going well hey let's live stream let's have a good time i'm gonna play a couple video games uh this kind of stuff and it's all good i don't finish off with this if you are gonna do this and for real you're really gonna go into these followers and everything don't take the disrespect you know what i mean because the thing that we heard a long time ago when um patrick cc made that video about live streamers and he said that if you ban people who are toxic you may not have any followers f that if somebody comes to your stream and all they do is talk mad about you or bad about you ban them you're gonna have way more followers who don't even talk to you don't even say a word i can't tell you how many streams i watch and i don't say anything i just enjoy the stream i don't talk i don't say anything i may laugh in the background just because people aren't talking doesn't mean it's not going well if you're only hearing people who are talking smack about you because that's what they do the, there's only going to be two types of people who normally chat to you people who don't people who just want to hate on you and just talk smack about you to get a reaction or people who really 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 want to tell you how much they love you and how much they care about you they want they want you to notice them they want you to be like hey man i'm here you know i've been coming to your kick sharing for five months now so just just accept that be okay with it love it and just um i don't know man just be yourself like i said i got nothing wrong with the grind I got nothing wrong with just being yourself. Do kick followers matter? That's for you to decide. Peace.